welcome back to the barn kitchen. Only guess what? Today I'm not in the barn kitchen. My freeze dryer is running down down there right now. And I've noticed in a previous video that I did while the freeze dryer was running, the audio was really difficult. So I decided to bring my project up to the kitchen here in the main house for today. So what I'm doing is gonna make banana bread. I've got some bananas that are about to go bad. And this is the perfect type of banana that you want for banana bread. And this recipe does not require you to have a stand mixer or a hand mixer of any kind. We're just gonna mash the bananas up and add the ingredients. You could do it all in the same bowl also, though I've got everything measured out for this video, so I kinda got a few other dishes dirty. But in reality, you wouldn't have to do that. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna unpeel these and I'm using five bananas, by the way. I do have my oven already heating. It's set at 350, but I'm gonna get these bananas in here and then crush them with a fork. And yeah, they are just on the verge, which is perfect for what I want. And I have all the other things set out here, ready to go. And these banana peels now are going to go into the compost pile. But there we've got five bananas and I'm just going to crush them. Chop them up and crush them. You can see why you couldn't do this or would with ripe bananas, they would not mash like this. But putting a fork in here and crushing them makes very quick work of it. It's no effort at all. And then to this, after I've got those mashed up really well, I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of melted butter, which I have right here. Peels almost in it. Okay, so we're going to add this butter and stir that around. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. And then a pinch of salt. I'm just going to use my salt shaker and just kind of put some in. Some of that baking soda stayed there. And then I want to add two eggs that are whisk. And these are eggs from Webster Farms Chicken. I'm going to mix, mix them up a little bit. Two eggs. Set that off to the side. Next, I have a cup and a half of sugar. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna to switch to this spatula now and get things really mixed in here well. And then I'm going. To, lastly, I'm gonna add a teaspoon or two teaspoons rather of vanilla. But you can see no mixer required and it is mixing up really, really nice. So two teaspoons of vanilla, and I did not have that pulled out ahead of time. So let me just grip that real quick. There's one and two. And I always use pure vanilla. I don't like the imitation stuff. Stir that around. And this is all of our wet. And then finally, we are going to add three cups of all-purpose flour, which I have right here. And 
you can see what, if you didn't pre-measure your ingredients like I did, everything, you've just got one bowl that you've got to get dirty, which is really nice. Mix that in here. Now, I'm gonna add nuts to this also here in a minute because we like nuts in ours, but you wouldn't have to. That's entirely up to you. And, it, and another thing, this is, re, is designed to go in a four by eight loaf pan. If you put it in a bigger one, it's not gonna raise as well. And this will make two loaves. It'll raise, it just doesn't fill up. Other than that, or I guess you could just fill one big loaf pan up, that's entirely up to you. But I'm using two loaf pans, four by eight, and I have buttered them already. They're sitting here ready to go. Now I'm gonna add my nuts. I've got a couple English walnuts. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to go in the pan and go in the oven where it will bake for about one hour or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Let me move these aside, my dishes out of the way. See how nice would that be not to have all these dishes to wash? got the pans prepared here and we're just gonna pour it in She is ready for the oven here. My hands are clean, I washed them. I just can't resist doing this. I've got to get every bit of this in here so I don't want to waste any of it. And that's pretty much it. Bake it, let it cool, and we will have us some mighty fine banana nut bread this evening. I always like to do, kind of pat them down to get them to settle in the pan, pan well and remove any air bubbles. So into the oven they will go. And here's the finished product. Just took them out of the oven. They are gorgeous. So I'm gonna let them sit here and cool and we will slice them up in a bit and sample. But they turned out beautiful. Perfect rise, perfect shape, nice browned, yum yum. Smells really good too. And here we are, the finished product. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, so good, very, very good.